back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're back in London. Yeah, we've got another episode of Worth the Hype for you. This time we're in Spitalfields again, but for a savoury edition. Yes, if you didn't check out our dessert edition, we'll leave a link up there. But I am super excited to try these things. Yeah, I do love sweet things, but I've got a, you know, a secret love for savoury foods. So yeah, and this I'm cold excited. weather is making me hungry. We've been seeing these places pop up on our Twitter. What? <laughs> you don't have Twitter, even go you? on Twitter? <laughs> Not since <laughs> Elon went on. We have been seeing these places pop up all over our TikTok and Instagram. So we're going to see if these places are really worth the hype. Let's, Let's go. go. That's an option. I was gonna say, is it an option? Let's go. So first up, we have some dumplings. Now, we were meant to be going to Dumpling Shack, but they didn't have any veggie options. No, that was all pork or prawn, which yeah. we don't eat. So we went to their sister restaurant, which is only two, two spaces down. down, and they do veggie dumplings. So these were actually the vegan dumplings. Yeah. Uh, we chose less spicy, because yeah. uh, it, in brackets it said spicy, so I'm yeah. not sure I'd be able to hack Because it had their, what do they call it? Their original sauce, their yeah. specialty sauce. Yeah. I hope it's not going to burn our mouths no, off. No, hopefully not. And these look absolutely delicious i love the chives on top it really just adds to yeah. it and the smell of these are amazing look at that yeah, look incredible yeah i'm gonna get cozy oh Oof. look at those they look so good don't they just smell incredible yeah oh wow they're bigger than i was expecting whoa <laughs> which one are you Beastie. going for are you going all in i think so okay cheers cheers they look hot oh <laughs> You're right, what happened? Well, I also have an ulcer. Uh, never good oh, with spicy food. Spicy. I didn't find and it too bad. Spicy. That level of spice is just about, you know, bearable for me. Not for me. Really? Wow. My spice has actually come on quite a lot. Yeah. Yours hasn't. <laughs> no, oh, I thought you meant it's coming on now. It's still no. coming on now for me. Really? It's burning. I must have got more into spice because I can handle that. That's actually really enjoyable, oh. that level of spice. That's blown my head off. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I just swallowed a bit of chili flake, I think. Did you? Woo! They're yours, Al. Cheers, thank you. The dumpling itself, like the outer casing, yeah. is really lovely. But apart from that, I couldn't really tell you anything else apart from spicy. <laughs> I could tell you a bit more. Gone. The dumpling itself is delicious. The filling is really lovely. Really, you know, it's like Do you know really what nice. The filling thing. is. Yeah, it was like cabbage and onion and stuff mm. like that. Nice, sweet, spicy flavour. I don't think Incredible. you would eat that and think it was vegan. No. You know what I mean? Really yeah. <laughs> but if you can't You're handle, still struggling. if you can't handle the heat, get out. Don't get the don't, dumplings. Don't get the dumplings. <laughs> oh dear. How would you come back and recommend? I would definitely come back and recommend this. And also, if this is the level of these, then I'm sure the other stuff is great as well. So we've got these epic bargies and then look at these samosas. Also, how nice is the um, the colour of the outside? I want to be like, what colour blue is that, please? I'd like that in my living room. It's so lovely, and I love next doors, like green as well. Aren't these buildings just so beautiful? Yeah. And I love how there's some outside shops and there's inside markets. It's like a completely different feel, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Really lovely, and all the signs are so beautiful. That funky cellars are nice blue as well. Who's their paint guy? <laughs> we need their paint chips. Oh dear, my scarf. I thought I was going to drop it. You're going to fall it over again, were you? No, no, no more falling over. Today. Right, should we go in and give yeah. it a go? Here's our delicious cheese and onion samosa. Look at that. 
And then I think the largest bhaji I've ever seen. Definitely. So this is spinach and onion. Look at that. Huge, isn't it? Comparison to my face. Smells good, smells good. And then we decided to get three little pots for a pound. We've got mango chutney and a mint and coriander, which looks absolutely amazing. So, love that. And they also do some curries as well. Yep. And they've got the kebab rolls, which yep. are like mains as well, which yep. looks amazing. And um, this was actually on a BBC programme. Really? About UK's top, um, like, takeaways or something. Yeah. But I thought that was interesting, and that's why I thought we should come as well. Right, what are we going with first? I kind of feel like the samosa. Yeah, I think this so This is too. a cheese and onion samosa. I've never had no. cheese and onion samosa What's in my life. What's normally in a samosa? We usually just get veggie samosas. It's just like, yeah, onion. Peas, and carrots, um, yeah, onion. stuff like yeah. that. Okay, you go first, Al. You sure? It's lovely, really nicely crispy cooked. Ooh, look Ooh. at that. Almost looks like an apple pie almost, it does doesn't look it? like an apple pie. Oh, like it's... that one from Bucky's. Yes. Wow, it smells amazing. Mm. Oh. That's melt in your mouth. That's the best samosa I've ever had. Do you think... Adding the cheese, I don't know why. It's kind of like a collab with a Cornish pasty. Yeah. <laughs> I've never thought that before. The casing is so soft on the inside, but on the outside it's so nice and crispy. Mm. You just bite straight through it, and then the insides are so perfectly cooked and so, you know, mm. mellow the flavour, isn't it? Mm. I am so glad we're having this. Mm. Oh, is there a tiny bit of spice in there? Yeah, a little bit. But not too much, it's just a lovely, like, sing. Mm. This is so good. I never really go for samosas and, like, the onion bhajis because a lot of the times when you have a curry, it's so filling. Yeah, Do you know I'm what I mean? so full off the curry and the rice. So I never really get the sides, which is why... And the naan bread and the poppadoms. Yeah. Oh and the chutney tray heaven i really do think indian food is one of my favorite foods it's so delicious but i think you're right this is the best samosa i've ever had yeah i love the size of it as well it means there's more filling yeah and the cheese mm. it's not really evident it's not like really cheesy mm. but the cheese is there and i think it's a great addition that mm. really is the best samosa i've ever had that's 10 out of 10 Mm. Fabulous. If you come to Spitalfields Market, 100% get that. Yeah. Obviously, I feel like a lot of people would enjoy the meaty ones as well. Mm. The chicken tikka one, I bet would be awesome. What a great idea to go in the samosa. I could taste yeah. more spice in that last bite, though. Because it's just a side, but because they've made them so big, it's like a thing you can walk past and you're like, oh, I'm a bit peckish. Yeah. That looks really good. It's like a... That would be a great pick-me-up in between, like, lunch yeah. and dinner. It is a bit like picking up a pastry isn't it yeah oh that was absolutely amazing mm. i hope this onion bhaji um lives, lives up. up to that i love bhajis the way it's like fried deep fried like intertwined i just love it and so crunchy and then you get to the inside now i never really get an, an onion bhaji because mm. you like little fried onion bits don't yeah. you whereas i don't like that as much but when i do have them i'm always pleasantly surprised yeah. how nice they are I'm going to get moved on then. Yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> Him coming over with his lanyard. How's this? It's good. Not as impressive as no. the samosa. A bit chewy. Mm. Lovely onion flavour. Yeah. I can't taste loads of spinach. No, I neither. Oh, it's really chewy. Really chewy. I'm think, not sure on this. No. I think the samosa was such a winner. Mm -hmm. This is just like, it's okay. It's like a bit hard, isn't it? Well, it tastes a bit like rye, oily, mm. you know what I mean? That's Maybe it would thing. have been better fresher. The samosa was in his oven thing mm. and he heated this up for us. But I'm wondering if it didn't get heated enough or it had just been too long. Still nice though, but too chewy. Yeah, it's a shame. Samosa, amazing. Bargy, mm. just okay. I'd probably leave it. I'd just get two samosas. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Something's burning. You. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something in there is spicy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, but definitely check it out for the samosas and yeah. give the other things a try too. This is definitely the most expensive of today. It's not even a full wrap. 
Nice and warm, though. So, looks that like half a wrap. That is tiny. It's like, have they eaten the other half because we were taking photos? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Right, let's get into this then. <laughs> OK, third and final stop for today. We headed to Rice Brother. We picked up a pepper tofu wrap. Yeah. This was £8.50, and look at the size of it. I think this is <laughs> the priciest today. Yes. What I will say is I love the... Uh, oh, <laughs> that just rolled, up the, rolled up the table. What I will say, though, is I love the logo. I love this, like, red. Yeah. Um, but I'm just really intrigued to see what we've got because it doesn't look like a lot right now. <laughs> I think the whole thing is cased in... Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, wow, now wow. that looks nice. It does smell amazing, I'll it give does. it that. So it's a rice wrap, but it's um, got the... Um, nori. Nori around it. And inside is like a peppered tofu. In like sushi, you get those triangles. I can't remember what yeah. they're called. I always used to, used to love those. Get them wrapped yeah, in they're seafood. so good. Seafood. seafood. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure maybe you can. But yeah, rice with like a center and then covered in nori. Let's see how good's this. Oh, look, there's like letters in it. Yeah, and there's oh, like weird. a bit of a sauce poking through. Is it going to be spicy? Was that a gherkin? Mm, I think that was it pickle. Was pickled veg, mm. wasn't it? Mm. Is it what you're expecting? It is what I was expecting. It is good. Yeah, it's like pickled. It's got a lovely sauce. Mm. Look at that. So there's like pickled veg in there, there's a sauce, there's tofu. And how was it with the seaweed? Was it nice? Yeah, nice. Is that a bit of soy or something? It's like a brown. Yeah, there's like a sweet soy sauce in there. And the pickles, the kind of pickled veg really helps cut through. And the pickled veg almost tastes like coleslaw a bit. Yeah. Did you much prefer your second bite? Yeah. Because the first one's got so much rice, really. I love rice, but I got a lot more of the flavour mm -hmm. from the second bite. Mm -hmm. That sauce and the veg is such it's a good really combo. It's really not what I was expecting. It tastes very English. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like chicken and coleslaw. Yeah, KFC I know what you mean, yeah. back in the day. Mm. You know, and they're chips. I can't explain it. And the tofu is breaded, so it's like crispy. Yeah. And it's got really nice, like salty fried flavour. Yeah. Which is really cut through by the nice light salad with that sauce. Oh, I'll just have one more bite. The salad in there is really delicious. It, it is nice and warm, actually. Mm. Warming to the soul. Mm. I'll get in there. Oh my word, it does taste like coleslaw. It does, doesn't mm. it? I think it also depends on the bite you mm. get. I really like it. I just wish, actually, that the rice had more flavour. Yeah. Especially because it's, like, purple. You kind of think it's added, it's got flavour yeah. or something, but I can't taste anything. The seaweed around the outside isn't that flavourful. You know, like, with yeah. the maki, is a lot more flavourful. Mm. Maybe I need a little soy pot or something, yeah. because I feel like... The middle is so good, but when you get a part that's really ricey, yeah. it's just a bit bland. And as we said at the beginning, we were quite surprised by the price of it. But yeah. I do actually think the flavour does warrant it. warrant it. And also, I do think that's much more filling than we first yes, thought it would be. Yes, it's way more filling than I thought. Would you have this again? I would definitely have this again. What order are you going in? I think for me, it's going to have to be this. Although the price, then it would be the samosa and then it would be the dumplings. I thought you were loving the samosa. I was loving the samosa, but, but this, the flavour of this is even better. And this is more like a whole meal. Yeah. I feel like you could have that as a meal. Well, that's got such like a, a mix of flavours yeah. that come together so nicely. Yeah, OK, I think, oh, it's really tight. I might go the samosa, yeah. then this, but really. the filling is amazing. And then I'm putting the dumplings low. Yeah. Only because it's so spicy for me. The dumplings were great, it's just this is better. <laughs> if you can only go to one place while you're here, I'd definitely say go to Rice Brother, just watch for the prices. And you might want to bring some snacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're hungry. So that is the end of the video. Don't forget, if you want to check out our sweet tour of Spitalfields Market, we'll leave a link up there. Yeah, and we'd love to know which of these three items would you guys choose. Yeah, we really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let us know if there's anywhere else you want us to check out in London. But we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See you. Yeah.